CBS News. How concerned are you that Russia will uh, follow through on these threats of a nuclear attack? And how is NATO preparing? President Putin's nuclear rhetoric is dangerous and it is reckless and irresponsible. Um, any use of a nuclear weapon in Ukraine will fundamentally change the nature of the conflict. Um, President Putin, Russia, knows that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. And they also know that there will be severe consequences. So far, we have not seen any changes in Russia's nuclear posture. But of course, we monitor very closely and we are um, vigilant and ready uh, to act if necessary. Uh, but the most important thing now is to convey a clear message to Russia that, that they should, of course, not use a nuclear weapon in Ukraine. Guy, please. Thank you. Deborah from Sky News. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is a, a, an exercise going on here, but at the same time, NATO is conducting its annual nuclear exercises. Um, can you talk about that? Has Russia been um, monitoring it? And are you, there was concern that it could be escalatory. Um, has that concern borne out? Or are you glad that you are conducting these exercises? Our exercise, Steadfast Noon, is a long uh, planned exercise. It's a routine exercise. It's an uh, exercise we uh, conduct regularly. And uh, um, I think it would have sent an absolutely wrong signal if then suddenly uh, we canceled that exercise. Uh, we have also been transparent about the fact that we are conducting uh, these exercises. And it was planned long before the Russian invasion of uh, Ukraine. The purpose of the exercise is to keep our uh, deterrent uh, uh, safe, secure and effective. There will be no live, uh, uh, it's not a live exercise uh, or live fires. Uh, we will uh, train our dual cable aircrafts, the crews and, and the planes, but no, uh, no, of course, a live fire as part of the uh, exercise. And it will also take uh, place uh, far from the border with uh, Russia. So this is a routine way of ensuring that our deterrent uh, is safe and secure and effective. And deterrence is a way to prevent conflict. As long as Russia knows that NATO is there to respond, uh, they also know that all allies uh, will protect and defend uh, if one ally is attacked, one for all, all for one. And for more than 70 years, NATO's credible deterrence has preserved peace. And that's exactly the reason why we continue uh, to um, ensure that we have credible deterrence 24-7 uh, every day uh, throughout every year to continue to preserve that uh, no NATO ally uh, is attacked by Russia. I'm Guillermo, Guillermo Pascual from the Spanish television, Antena 3. Uh, Secretary General, given the, the, the current level of threat and the, the nuclear rhetoric by the Kremlin, uh, it is necessary or convenient to convene a, a head of state's uh, NATO summit. So we are constantly consulting within the uh, alliance. Uh, we just had a defense ministerial meeting a few days ago. Uh, we speak on phone, we consult uh, uh, almost daily at the NATO headquarters. Um, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and we had a successful uh, summit in Madrid in June, where uh, the NATO allies, uh, the, leader, the leaders, the head of state, uh, agreed to further strengthen our collective defense, uh, increase our presence in the eastern part of the alliance, and uh, to also uh, re uh, respond uh, by, uh, by increasing the readiness of our forces, uh, so we can quickly reinforce if there is a, a need. Uh, let me also add that um, we also then agreed to step up our support for Ukraine. Uh, NATO is not party to the conflict in, in Ukraine, but we um, uh, support Ukraine in the right for self-defense uh, in defending the, them themselves. So we will assess the need for uh, for uh, additional meetings at different levels, but we have um, many ways of consulting, many ways of making decisions, and uh, and uh, and we will also uh, next month actually have a foreign ministerial meeting, uh, and we meet when the, when we see there is a need to meet. But we can actually also make decisions without having physical meetings. Uh, because we are consulting at the NATO headquarters and making decisions there when needed. One more. 
Knox, and thank you very much. Thank you.